In this video, let's take a look at the addition of mixed numbers that have different denominators. We're going to start out like in the, we have in the other examples with a quick example. Um, instruction, same as always, add, write your answers in the lowest terms. So we have 1 and 1 over 2 plus 1 and 1 over 4. So just like when we were doing the other examples, the first things that I want you to do is break this apart and put your whole numbers first. So we have a 1 plus a 1 plus 1 half plus 1 quarter. Quickly put together our 1 and our 1 from the first line here. So 1 plus 1 gives me a 2. My 1 over 2 and 1 over 4 remain the same. Now I should know my LCM, my least com or lowest common multiple of 2 and 4 is 4 since 2 will end up going there. And the way that I can get um, 2 to be into a 4 would be 2 times it by 2 and times it by 2. So my next line is where things could get a little tricky for us. I'm going to have 2 plus 1 times 2 gives me a 2, but 2 times 2 on the bottom gives me that 4. Now I've turned this into something that I can actually handle quite easily. My 2 tags along just like it has with all the mixed number questions. I'm going to put my 2 plus 1 on top of my denominator that will be 4. And I'm going to carry my 2, and I know 2 plus 1 gives me 3 over 4, and I know from my knowledge of mixed numbers that I can write this as 2 and 3 quarters as my answer. I always check to make sure that 3 quarters is in lowest terms, and in this case it is because there's no other common factor that go into 3 and 4 other than 1. Let's do another example. In this example, we're going to look at 2 and 1 third plus 3 and 2 fifths. This is uh, a little more complicated, but we can definitely handle this with our knowledge. So first things first, whole numbers together, 2 plus 3. Then I bring in my fractions, 1 third plus 2 fifths. Bring my 2 and my 3 together, 2 plus 3 gives me a 5. And my 1 third and my 2 fifths can come along with me. I might need to do a little bit of thinking, but I know that my lowest common multiple for um, 3 and 5 is going to be 15. The way that I can get 3 to be 15 is times it by 5, times the top by 5 also. But to get the 5 to be 15, I have to times it by 3. And my 2, I have to times it by 3. So what this ends up looking like is 1 times 5 is 5 over 3 times 5, which is 15, plus 2 times 3 is just 6 over 5 times 3, which is 15. Now I've got something I can deal with. I've got 5 plus, I'm going to put my 5 plus 6 over top of my 15. And on my next line, I can combine those two together. So 5 plus 6 gives me 11 over 15. And I know, again, from my knowledge of mixed numbers, that I can rewrite this as 5 and 11 over 15. And I check to see if 11 and 15 have any common factors. And after I do that quick check, I'll realize they only have one in common, which means they are indeed in lowest terms. Let's quickly summarize uh, the steps. Um, so this is how we can, I accidentally put common, I meant to put different in here. I apologize for that. So follow the following steps to add two mixed numbers with different denominators together. First things first, rewrite the addition statement with the whole numbers together. Secondly, you're going to add those whole numbers together. Third, you're going to rewrite the fraction addition statements with equivalent fractions using common denominators. This is where our knowledge of common denominators comes into play. Number four, for the fractions, write both the numerators as an addition statement above the original denominator. This is something we've seen in every single one of these questions that we've done. And number five, we're going to complete that addition statement in the numerator. And lastly, we're always going to check to make sure our final answer is in lowest terms.